Just because many people speak two languages, this doesn't make them good translators any more than everyone with one language is guaranteed to be a great writer. I can't remember who, was, who it was that said, uh, being bilingual means you can be a professional translator is true only in the sense that it's true that having two hands means you can be a professional pianist. <laughs> Lots of people, of course, can read in one language and convey something, something of the elemental data in another language, but not many people have the ability to write Sebel or Salamago Asterix or Austerlitz. When Rabassa was commissioned to translate the book, which in English would come to be called 100 Years of Solitude, someone asked him whether his Spanish was really up to the job. He replied that no, that was absolutely the wrong question. The right question was whether his English was good enough. Reading a book is all very well, millions upon millions can do that. But how many people are such good and supple writers that they can write a great Garcia Marquez novel in English? Gregory Rabassa was a great translator, not because he was an expert linguist, but because he was, among other things, a great writer. The fact that he was a better translator than I will ever be isn't to do with the fact that he just knew more Spanish and Portuguese words than me, though that's, that is undoubtedly true, but that he was a sufficiently remarkable writer that he could write 100 Years of Solitude.